I don't know about you, but there is this very weird thing my brain does whenever I learn something new. All the numbers have their own personalities. I particularly like 4 and 9. 6 is alright, but I don't, cannot stand 8. Uh, all the letters have their personalities as well. Sira is kind of cool. Um, and whenever I do math, I feel like someone is telling me a story. It, it's very weird. And so, this part of my brain kicked in when I was learning particle physics. And as a result, I started to imagine this whole mythology based on our knowledge of particle physics. And I think it's kind of cool. So, I want to share it with you. Imagine that we are in the countryside, in the middle of the night, with only the stars above us and a campfire to keep us warm. I have brought you here because I'm going to tell you the story of the beginning of the universe. God is. And God is dreaming that in the beginning there were three gods. We know them by the name of gravity, electroweak and strong. The three gods decided to create a list. And you should know that we are on that list. And Everything that exists is on the list. In fact, everything that happens, or everything that could ever happen, is just some change in the arrangement of the elements on that list. The gods agreed that the list would have an order, and that each element on the list would be determined by the preceding elements according to some rules and each god was tasked with creating one rule for the list. First spoke gravity, the heart of the void, the one of the hidden hands, the shape of nothing. My rule shall be the list that grinds the list, using the list, on the list. My rule shall be the joining of the four parts. My rule shall set a limit to the elements of the list that determined the next element. My rule shall be that nothing is ever truly known. And when gravity said that, there was space, time, and energy. Let me tell you more about gravity, the heart of the void. Neither male nor female, gravity is the leader of the four gods. And yet, most of the time, they are deep in thought or meditation, indifferent and uncaring to everything that happens around them. And if you look them in the eye, you might just get lost in thought as well, and you will never escape. You should also know that we have never seen the hands of gravity. We don't even know if they have hands. That's why we call them the one of the hidden hands. But then you might wonder, how does gravity enforce its will on the list? Well, they created the Gamma Angels. Gamma Zero, the Archangel of the Void. Gamma One, the Valiant One. Gamma Two, the Daring One. And Gamma Three, the Confident One. The Gamma Angels carry the will of the heart of the Void and they make sure that everything obeys it. They are the reason that everything is made out of four parts. Then came the turn of Electro Week. She was beautiful and terrible, like a storm at dusk. Her symmetry was glorious. Her Lagrangian was elegant. With her three hands, she was destined to shape the universe into a place of radiant order. But then, just as Electroweek was about to declare her rule for the list, something went wrong. God's dream was disturbed, and Electroweek became half mad. She started having visions of spirals, she started seeing double, and her madness leaked into the universe. Her same half fought and screamed, trying to escape her mad half. She tried to take control of the Divine Hands, but she only got one. Then gravity came along 
abandoning their usual indifference for just a moment, gravity and the gamma angels raged into the tangled mess Electrowick had become. They grabbed the two hands of the mad half and strapped weights to them. The weights were so heavy that the mad half could barely move her hands, and only then was the same half able to escape, just to find that her failure was even worse than she had thought. She thought she had taken control of one of the divine hands, but now she could see that her hand was still connected to the mad half. Gravity decided to help one last time, and they strapped yet another weight on the side of the third hand that was connected to the mad half, but the damage was already done. It was terrible. It was a disaster. Of three divine hands, two had become practically useless now, strapped with weights and connected to a mad goddess. And what could the same half do with only half a hand? The other gods thought that the dream was ruined and they considered waking up and starting again. But the same half said no and she assured them that she could create a rule to shape the universe into order, despite everything that she had lost. She looked at her only hand, and she decided that her rule would be something simple, and yet important. And she said, my rule shall be that everything that matters, matters equally, everywhere. And when she said that, there was light. With her one hand, she reaches everywhere and everything. With her one hand, she moves the universe. She creates atoms, she arranges molecules, she allows for life. And looking at all these things, she smiles, for she's proud of her role in the universe and the madness she has to overcome. Her hand is Photon and her name is Electromagnetism, E.M., the Lady of Invariance, the one who reaches, the clever one. And she is the de facto leader of the four gods, since gravity is so indifferent most of the time. However, I don't want to give you the impression that Electroweek is gone. She still exists. She has simply become not a trinity, but a duality. Two goddesses in one, a single being that casts two shadows, a vector made out of two components. Oddly enough, EM decided to become a duality as well, although willingly this time. No one knows why she did this. I think she's still a little crazy. Her two manifestations are electricity and magnetism. Electricity is calm and sure of herself. She wants to be like gravity. Magnetism runs around all the time, singing loudly and smiling. Sometimes we might see one or the other, but often they work together. And when they do, we can see the Lady of Invariance in all her glory. And in those moments, it's easy to forget the crisis of the madness and the splitting of the goddess. But the clues are still there, if you know where to look. With all this drama, I haven't even told you about the mad half of Electroweek. Her name is Weak, but don't let the name fool you. She's everything but Weak. She's the breaker of mirrors, the lady of spirals, the mad one. And she too made a rule for the list. My rule is that one is two. Except when it isn't. Maybe. My rule is that identity is crooked so that everything is mixed together and no one is ever truly themselves. You probably think that her crazy rule doesn't really matter because gravity strapped those weights to her hands and you are not entirely wrong. Her hands don't reach very far and she barely moves anything. But she has a gamma angel. When gravity and the gamma angels reach to grab her hands, she grabbed the Gamma Angels, and she used them to create her own. Gamma 5, the one who switches. The Breaker of Mirrors then sent Gamma 5 flying through the universe to make one into two. Also, 
I don't think Wick knows this, and I don't think EM would ever admit it, but I have seen Gamma 5 and Magnetism playing together. They get along, they are friends. Finally, after all of that, we have Strong. If Electromagnetism was responsible for bringing things together, Strong is responsible for creating things that can come together in the first place. For this reason, we call him the creator of identity, the lord of unity, but also the jester, the quiet one. After his sisters had created their rules, came his turn and he simply said, my rule is that three make one and they always travel in pairs. He has eight hands and he too reaches everything and everywhere, but he acts quietly. He goes around, smirking and whistling, moving things just a little, just enough for things to work, but often not enough for anyone to notice he's done anything at all. You might think that he looks like EM, and they are siblings after all. And sure, Gravity, EM and Strong make a nice trio, but don't trust him too much. Do you see how he's always smirking? How he's always quiet in the background? He knows something. I have seen him playing with Wick in her little twisted nonsense games. And we know he can break mirrors too. But he never does it. We have seen him doing his work inside of stars and whenever energy is great. But what does he do the rest of the time? What does the quiet one do when everyone else is quiet? We don't know, and he just looks at us and keeps murking, laughing at a joke only he knows. All of this, the four gods and the least, is what God is dreaming. One day God will wake up, and the universe will finally begin. And there, that's it. You can stop imagining now that we are around that campfire. Um, I hope you like this, even if you don't know a lot about science, I think it's still a cool story. And if you like this, please subscribe and give a like. And if you want more videos of me to watch, I'm gonna put them here.